So what's going on everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. Again, been a while for a video. Um, and we got a lot of wrestling coming up uh, a week from now. We got WrestleMania Night 1 and 2. We have the special by Impact Wrestling. We have Ring of Honor. We have NXT. Um, there's just tons of wrestling going on, you know, next weekend. And, um, you know, it's going to be too much to watch for me. Um, I'll be watching my regular shows on a weekly basis, like Dynamite on Wednesday. I'll watch Impact Wrestling from Thursday. I do watch Rampage, but I don't watch it on Friday night. I watch it on Saturday. But I will be watching uh, WrestleMania Night 1 and 2. And uh, now we move over to the fact that Tony Khan has bought Ring of Honor, which we've all known now for, what, a couple weeks. And what does this really mean for the world of professional wrestling? Um, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Um, Tony Khan owning AEW and Ring of Honor can intermix uh, wrestlers from both shows. And, you know, honestly, he can get a lot of people that he has signed, you know, on TV. You know, there's a lot that he's signed and they don't get a, there's many people that just don't get airtime on AEW shows. So possibly they will get airtime over on the Ring of Honor show. And it also makes me wonder, um... Does Impact lose Matt Taven, Mike Bennett, Maria Canales, PCO, and Vincent? Uh, one has to wonder, do they lose Jay White? Um, right now, it's been sort of fun watching Jay White and Taven and Bennett and, and Honor No More on Impact Wrestling. Again, I'm going to Rebellion with Matt, my nephew Matt, in Poughkeepsie, New York on April 23rd. We got second row seats by the entrance ramp. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be fun. But with the purchase of Ring of Honor, you know, I know Tony, Tony Khan wants to uh, be number one in the wrestling world. Uh What's it going to do to the little guys, the little prom littler promotions? I mean, Impact Wrestling's not a huge promotion like it used to be, but it still swims above water. And they've done so for 20 years, and I give them credit for that because there's been many years I thought they're going down, and they haven't. Um, and this is, I I've been following Impact. For 20 years. So, and I have a place in my heart for them. So, oh, this is why I watch. Now, when AEW first started, I was happy. I liked this new promotion. I liked where they were going. And now, with all the ex-WWE stars being signed and stars being signed from elsewhere... You know, maybe Tony Khan, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe he had this in mind all along because Ring of Honor has really been on the borderline for a long time. Khan finally, you know, got into, you know, to what he wanted and he ended up purchasing Ring of Honor. But is there a bigger picture there? I think Tony Khan wants to take WWE down. And here's the thing. What night are you going to air Ring of Honor? I personally, I look at it this way. Unless you get rid of one of the darks. Now, I see Dark Elevation remaining on Monday night. 
uh, the regular dark, which is on Tuesday, and uh, NXT is at night. That could be um, a probability. You got Dynamite on Wednesday. Impact Wrestling is on Thursday. SmackDown and Rampage are on Friday. I see Khan because I don't think he has the balls. I, I see him going up against Impact Wrestling with Ring of Honor on Thursday nights because he knows his ratings will be higher than Impact. And it, let's face it, Impact only gets like 100,000 viewers, and it's because of the channel they're on, Access TV. When they were on Spike, we saw them get over 2 million viewers. So, and that was back when Impact was TNA Impact. But Tony Tony Khan don't have the balls. I mean, if if he th goes around and boasts he's going to be the number one promotion, then go against night one, Monday nights against Raw, or go against night five against SmackDown, which usually gets a slightly higher rating than Monday Night Raw, he, you know, or go Tuesday, get rid of Dark. But I see him being a big shot, wanting to crush the littler promotions because he don't have the balls to go against someone that's established and bigger than him. He'll go against Impact Wrestling. And what this can mean for Impact Wrestling could be devastating because if the viewers drop dramatically, I mean, Access is happy with around 100,000 viewers. But just say, for instance, they drop to like 40,000. Access is going to say it's, you know, we're not, we're not making nothing off of this. So... Tony Khan, from me to you, from Swinger's Palace, to you, Tony Khan, have the balls. If you think you're that good, go up against WWE. And let's see where the result is. At least WCW did it. They proved at one point that they could beat WWE, TNA Impact did it in 2010. They found out they couldn't do it. And Impact, back in 2010, to me, Impact Wrestling was a much better show than what AEW or Ring of Honor could ever bring. Um, so... Have the balls, Tony Khan. Go up against WWE. You claim you're you're claiming you want to be number one. Show us. That's all I got to say. Show us. This is the Iceman here on this Tuesday, March twenty second or March twenty first, I should say, and it's Monday. I'm one day ahead on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. Peace out, everybody.